the draft. I mean, we could probably do uh, a 24-hour uh, draft station and, and be yes. very successful here. And uh, joining us right now from the uh, movie uh, of the uh, said name, Draft Day, is Tom Welling, who uh, plays uh, a Cleveland Browns quarterback, veteran quarterback in this movie. Uh, Tom, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Good morning. Thank you. Um, all right. Let me ask you this. I, I, in, in all honesty, I, have you been booed just walking around on the streets for playing a Cleveland Browns quarterback? <laughs> Was that Not part bad. of the uh, method acting that you just had to have people yell obscenities at you? <laughs> Not yet. I hope I don't have to experience that anytime soon. All right. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the movie because uh, people here, I mean, you, you couldn't have found a better audience. I mean, people here are obsessed with the draft. So I would imagine this movie will be a smash hit in the southeast regions of the United States. Yeah, I would hope so. I mean, this is the first film that the NFL has ever endorsed and allowed us access to uh, things that normally you wouldn't be able to see. I mean, we play, you know, we get to use the real team, the the, the Cleveland Browns, obviously. We got to film at the, uh, the, the real draft last year, and Josh Pence told me a story where he got out of the limo when they were filming and they use the actual, you know, he he went in the same way that that, that the uh, the draft that, that the draft picks go in, the, the same guys, and uh, people were asking him for his autograph as his character, and he had to sign autographs as his character. And he, hadn't even, <laughs> he hadn't even thought about that, and he he's the first one. He's like, I don't even know what the signature looks like for this guy. It was pretty funny. All right, now Costner, he's done this a few times. I, I don't know, did he have a couple of bombs or something before this? Because he always goes back to a sports movie and then kind of resurrects, uh, you know, his career and goes back to the top level. Well, as a Kevin Costner fan, I'm glad when that happens. Um, you know, he has this way of feeling so real when it comes to sports, and, you know, this is the first time he's done anything to do with football, and it, for me it totally works as a fan. All right, uh, now, now tell us a little bit about the uh, making of the movie because uh, now you also have to intermingle with some sports figures, right? Uh, Berman's in there, Mel Kuyper, John Gruden. Um, you know, and as an actor, I would imagine you might be able to take something away just from the natural faces of John Gruden that, that you might be able to use in future films. Well, it was helpful for me because there were there was a time where, in the end where we kind of all suit up and we run on the field together, and I was able, I was able to have some of the NFL players kind of be like, "Hey, man, come here. Let me let me fix your uniform. That's not what it's supposed to be like right there. Let me let me move these pads around for you." And um, it, was, it was a big help. It, it was a lot of fun being around those guys. Oh, with Tom Welling, who is uh, one of the stars of the movie Draft Day, and uh, Kevin Costner in this. Also, Jennifer Garner. And it's interesting for us here because we have a big issue with the Dolphins. All of a sudden, uh, you know, the uh, character, I guess, that Garner's playing, uh, although based on the Cleveland Browns, uh, has emerged as a, a top figure with the Dolphins, the capologist. So uh, how did you find uh, Jennifer Garner's uh, role in the movie, and, and how realistic do you, do you think it was? Well, the film itself feels so real that I've been asked if it's based on a true story. And in fact, I had to ask that after I, after I saw the first screening. Um, Jennifer's great in it. She's like the heart of the film, and she plays this this really like professional, like, like loving and empathetic, um, you know, love interest for Kevin. And um, she's just she's really fantastic. When you went through all this stuff about you know the draft and all the realistic things that they gave you access to. Is there any one thing that stands out in your mind that was that was most surprising? Like, wow, this is how it really happens. Um, for me, it was more when I went to the uh, Browns training facility, and I, you know, I, I knew these guys would be big, but when when you get on the field with them, you realize how fast they are. I mean, it's mm. ridiculous how fast they are. And um, as much fun as it is to play a quarterback, um, I, I don't know how those those quarterbacks stay in the pocket with these guys running at them like that. It's it's really crazy. <laughs> All right. Now, now you, you often see guys, actors, uh, you know, they, they have to try to emulate uh, this. Uh, uh, and probably, I, I don't know, who was the worst quarterback among actors? Was it Keanu Reeves? <laughs> I mean, he, he played a quarterback oddly twice, right? Wasn't he Johnny Football in one movie uh, in that thing where uh, Swayze was robbing banks with the masks on? Johnny Utah he was in that movie. And then uh, he was in the uh, replacements also as a quarterback. Yeah, I, I mean, as, uh, I don't know. I, mean, I I'm a big fan of Keanu's and... I hope that you know somebody's not doing a football movie a couple years from now and they're referencing me as the worst one. Uh, that, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't think so. I mean, but there's always a chance, I, I guess, uh, looking at Reeves uh, to reprise that role somewhere down the road. So this might be something that you can latch on to. Yeah, maybe draft day two. <laughs> now, now, now uh, what, what was your interest in the draft uh, prior to this? I mean, uh, what, were you one of these draft nicks? Do you follow sports? You know, I'm I'm more of a casual fan. I I, I guess I hadn't really seen the draft before. Um, I, I know I haven't watched it, um, but I have a different appreciation for it now, and and sort of the ripple effects that each pick has throughout the league. 
and the sort of do or die situation and the idea that yeah I guess I didn't realize that you know if you're one if you're draft one versus you know draft seven the amount of money that mm-hmm. is different um it's it's a, it's millions of dollars yeah and it's amazing the, the amount of pressure on the people doing the drafting and it's pretty remarkable Tommy you probably found this how much time energy and money goes into it and then you know a lot of times they get it wrong anyway well, and the guys, you know, you, you look at these guys, the players, they've spent their whole lives focusing on playing the game, being on the field. And now they're thrown in a situation with all these other uh, distractions and responsibilities of sort of the showmanship of the day. And a lot of the guys were talking about how, you know, how difficult that is and, and how they try to prepare for that. And, you know, they are sort of paraded around in ways that ultimately – a lot of times the draft doesn't go the way anybody thinks it's going to go. And mm. it, I guess that's why it's exciting. Mm. So with Tom Welling, uh, the movie is uh, Draft Day. Kevin Costner starring uh, along with Jennifer Garner. And uh, Tom uh, plays uh, a veteran quarterback for the uh, Cleveland Browns. Now, now, are any of the old guys hanging around there? I mean, uh, guys that, that used to throw the rock for Cleveland, or have they all been banished from the city? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't able to meet any guys, any former players. But Wheaton was out there on the field, and he was throwing a couple. But now, you know, he's moved on to, to other things as well. It's, uh, how bad were his passes? Uh, can you tell us, uh, in all honesty, Tom? Well, compared to me, they were they were they were the best I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, these guys are on a different level for sure. It's it's and it's funny for the Browns. Look at the situation they have going in this year in their in their uh, quarterback situation. And in a lot of ways, it's similar to what happens in draft day. All right, uh, and we have to ask you this. We had a big debate about it. The uh, the, the thespian attributes of P. Diddy. Uh, how would you rank him as an actor? <laughs> I think he's perfect in this role. Um, I didn't work with him directly, but I know uh, Josh did, and that he was talking about how um, how focused and how professional he was, and, and how serious he took it. And Josh said he had a, a great time working with him. Oh, okay, because uh, we were speculating earlier, and of course, uh, being the jokers and clowns that we are, we had him. <laughs> Rated right there with Brian Bosworth uh, among uh, all-time lead actors in movies. Well, I asked Josh, like, what did, what did you call him? Like, how, how did you refer to him? What name did you choose? And he just said, I just stuck with Sean, and, and it worked. So. <laughs> yeah, the artist formerly known as P. Diddy, I guess, so it would be appropriate. All right, all right uh, Tom, excellent. Any other things in the works there? Because uh, we're going to recommend wholeheartedly that everybody goes out and sees Draft Day. I, I would think uh, the people of South Florida, as I said, would almost be compelled to go out and watch this movie after all the conversations we've had about the draft. But um, what else do you have in the uh, fire? I'm not sure what we're doing next. Um, we, we're, we're looking for a couple things, and um, right now just hoping this one really takes off. All right, and, and let's hope that it doesn't happen after the uh, movie now is is out and about. People see it, that, that you start getting resoundingly booed everywhere you go. Because <laughs> it would be undeserved. you know. But people do associate uh, you know fantasy with reality. You know how that works. Yeah, and, and they're going to love this movie then because it feels, it feels real. All right, sounds good. Tom, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, good luck with the movie, and uh, thanks so much for joining us here on the show. It was a lot of fun. Thanks, guys.